Well hello and welcome to another one of my videos and this one we're going to be looking at rocks but we've done uh, rocks on a scale of 1 to 100 and we've also, I also done a uh, 1 to 10 scale so that it's uh, I'm able to do a smaller um, model and then chroma key into that but sometimes we're going to have to act with the puppets in an actual uh, scale set so we're going to have to make it 2 to 1 of from 100 to 10 to 1 to 2 to 1. So let's make a rock wall of that scale, of this kind of rock. Now I'm going to start with a, a rock mould to make the rock textures and that's another video. Look at my list of videos for making that and doing that so that we can eventually uh, come out with some rock texture cardboard paper. Now we're going to tear that into pieces uh, to roughly the size of rock that we want and we're not going to um, cut it but we're going to tear it so that it's very haphazard. We're going to need lots of strips of little bits of, of paper so I'd make a whole heap of those. Now with some starch paste, which is uh, whichever starch paste you want to make, corn flour, flour, uh, potato, rice, whatever, uh, paste them on there and then on each one of those you're going to put a little bit on there and then stick it on the edge. Do that heaps and heaps. and set them aside to dry. Do a whole heap of those and you can do them in batches if you wish. So eventually you're going to get right round the, the whole rock because we're going to make it deeper. Now I'm going to get some cardboard boxes like this pizza box here and uh, you can use scissors or you can use this guillotine and cut it's like one inch or three centimeter strips across the grain that way so that you can bend them around the curve. So I have a good bunch of those ready. Then I'm going to paste those tabs. Paste. And then put the cardboard on there and then over it. Peg it just so it doesn't go anywhere. And you're going to bend those cardboards around to follow the um, the contour of the edge of the rock and if they start to peel like that you can just add another peg. Set them aside to dry. Now where you run out of the cardboard just um, add another one in and just keep going. Now when you get a whole bunch of them uh, all finished and dried then we're going to cover the whole thing to unite it with some paper towel. So we're going to put a layer of, of paste and then do the paper towel. Then on the floor, face down, we're going to compose our rocks so that they basically fit together, uh, button together. So now I'm going to paste there where the rocks touch. I'm going to put a piece of paper and then I'm going to put a peg and then just where the piece of paper. And then I'm going to go all along these uh, borders, filling in those gaps with pieces of paper to unite the whole th thing. Now once I've got all of those rocks all done uh, with mache, I've now made a frame and laid it on top. 
and then every so often I'm going to tie it on there with a couple um, pieces through here as well and if I really need to and I want it permanently I could mache that on as well but I'll just tie it for the moment. So there's the rock wall and we're just starting to put the base grey undercoat. And there it is with a base grey coat before dry brushing.